been cold and rainy the last few days. So I've been working on my lawnmower, getting ready for some leaf cleanup this fall, installing this track back. So I, uh, I got some footage, fabricated some parts. All right, I'm installing the track back chute on the Snapper Pro 48. Didn't come with any mounts for the mower deck. So what I've done so far, there's two holes existing on the deck. I uh, clamped this piece of eighth inch angle iron that is going to bolt to this hanger. And right now I'm going to tip up the front, center punch these holes, bolt that down, I'll probably cut this little lip off. this on there and then try and clamp this and punch these holes. Rain day today, so I'm going to finish mounting this track back on the Snapper Pro 48. I got the chute mount built the other day. Just drilled a couple holes into existing holes on the deck. Hung this on there. Need to make two brackets back here for the arm that comes out and holds the engine. So I've made a couple pieces, I'm going to bolt on here, and then the, the uh, cross piece will bolt onto my bracket here. I'm going to show you what i got going on. i got a couple pieces like this. The plan is to drill two holes on here to bolt onto the snapper. One hole in this. I'm going to have to cut one of these ends to get the proper angle. Then there will be a bolt through the center and through the top, bolted to the snapper, and this will be at the correct angle with a hole in it for this crossbar here to bolt to. Alright, this angle here is about 62 and a half degrees. So I'm going to build a bracket that sits up here bring this face level to hold the engine mount. So I have my pieces drilled. I got a left one and a right one because they're not perfect. There's no CNC machining going on. But due to the bolt hole pattern on this, 
I will have to kind of eyeball the first hole. I was thinking about using this one and then putting that on, but before I can weld then the left side bracket, I have to line it up, see where the hole is, probably bolt this, get that on there, and then weld it, tack weld it while it's all together for this last bracket so that everything lines up nice. It's motors on there pretty solid. I'm going to take those back off and paint them. But for now, I'm going to get these brackets mounted on here and the leaf can 
think I'm going to remove this whole thing. So it's lighter and easier to line up. Alright, I've got it pretty well centered on there. I am just going to try to get a center punch in there and mark them holes and drill them out. Just bolt it on. There's a bracket that came for this center piece, but I might have to make another one. This one is like for a different mower. It's got a bend in it. Get this bolted on. I just drilled a couple holes in a piece of angle iron and drilled a hole through the front of this. Stabilize this bucket. Just a little bit. So there it is. The track back. Press it on here in a minute. All right, I got the track back fully assembled. I'm just down here for a little test. Leaves. Not a lot of leaves. They're kind of been raining, so the leaves are kind of embedded. I don't know what it's going to pick up, but make sure everything runs good. See how that uh, discharge lines up, see if it picks everything up. end here take another shot 